Okay, now we're going to take a minute to look at creating a question. The question feature on Google Classroom has been really amazing for formative assessment, for um, exit tickets, for end of the unit responses, and for students communicating with one another in an online discussion. So first of all, in order to create a question, you hit the plus, choose the question. You have several options. You could type the question um, directly in here. What was the theme of this poem? Um, you could provide some instructions if necessary. Um, you can enter again the points or make it ungraded. Change the due date. Add to the topic. That's kind of like tagging it so that when students go back into their Google Classroom or when you do, all the things from the same tap topic are all kind of listed together. You can also add um, documents, links, videos to this. So for this one, what is the theme of the poem? You could actually attach a copy of the poem for them to see. If you were worried about whether they knew what theme was or not, or you wanted to provide a scaffold, you could even provide a, a video of a summary of what theme is, or a link to a definition, or something like that. So you have all those tools available to you. You also then need to decide if you're doing a short answer or a multiple choice. So obviously short answer, students will be able to type their response. With multiple choice, you can add as many options as you would like to give them up to, uh, actually I don't think there, there may not actually even be a limit. So however many options you want to give them. Um, when you choose the multiple choice one, you need to decide if students are going to be able to see the class summary. Basically, are they going to be able to see the results of the class as a whole? When you choose the short answer, you need to decide if you're going to allow students to reply to each other and or if students are going to be allowed to edit their answer. Um, just like with the assignments, you can ask it right away. You can schedule it to happen at another time or you can save it as a draft. Additionally, you can uh, assign it to more than one um, class and then um, all students in that class. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to go to an old version of Google Cl Classroom where I have a question that students actually responded to just so you can see what that looks like. Um, so here, um, I asked the students what makes a groundbreaking woman. And you can see each of the students responded. And then beneath each student's response, they replied to each other. Now. Again, what I would usually do is just have Synergy up with this, and if I was taking this for a grade, I would just enter the grades right into Synergy. However, you can ha you do have the option to score um, the question here, just like you do with an assignment, and again, to adjust the points um, as needed for that particular question.